all three of them work great with the bigger batteries, but Milwaukee works the best with the smaller or larger battery. We're gonna go ahead and get a two by six on here and see how they do. <laughs> Skill 12 volt with a four amp hour battery fully charged. Skill is a five and a half inch versus the other two are five and three eighths inch. <laughs> So the skill, not as powerful. Whoa. Not that big of a difference as far as how it felt. It did feel a little smoother, but it still felt like I had to put the same amount of pressure on the circular saw. And the resistance felt about the same as with the stock blade that it comes with. So that's weird. With the Diablo, it actually locked up. That's kind of strange. Let's try with the skill. See how it does with the Diablo blade, five and a half inch. So the skill seems to perform much better with the Diablo blade than the other two circular saws. We have the six and a half inch Makita circular saw, fully charged, six amp hour, it's 18 volt. But I wanna show you all the difference. This is not much bigger in size, not much heavier either. No lockup, much smoother, much faster. This guy will do the job. The DeWalt is going for 159, 139 bare tools, something like that. The Milwaukee is going for a similar price. And the skill, you can get it for 99 bucks uh, as a kit with a four amp hour battery, $99. This is the best deal out there. The Milwaukee and the DeWalt were very similar. The Milwaukee had the most power whether you were using the two amp hour battery or the six amp hour battery, its own blade or the Diablo blade. The DeWalt would be second place as far as performance and power and the skill would be third. So pretty much what I expected, but I wanted to verify for myself. We'll continue to make more videos on tools, tech, DIYs, and deals. Until next time, I only hope all the best to you and yours.